Note to self, if you're in the evolution screen, your elders can still die from old age. It's either that or they were non-believers in the, uh, the Ruby of Salvation here. Maybe they only wanted to worship the Emerald of Destiny. Quite frankly, I don't blame them, but the Emerald of Destiny and the Ruby of Salvation go hand in hand, and apparently maybe they were non-believers. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I was sitting in the evolution screen. Oh my god. What's going on over here? What the? I don't understand what's happening. That's not right. Somehow we're spawning like dead bodies too. So we got two over here and two dead over here. Does this count as four deaths? I'm gonna be so mad. Cause I haven't had, like while playing the game, I've had no deaths. And then suddenly I'm in the evolution screen and I lay down, there we go. And I come back and everybody's dying. Everybody in the club. Okay, it does not count as deaths. I don't know what happened. Things are just dropping dead left and right. But regardless, welcome back, you glorious humans of the interwebs, to Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, where my odyssey is to find all the glitches in the game and break everything. But regardless, today, we are going to evolve into the next iteration of the species. It's going to be great. And we're going to retrieve the Emerald of Destiny for multiple reasons. Uh, because back where the Emerald of Destiny is, there's a couple locations we have not explored, and we need to actually discover those locations to evolve. So that's the plan for today's episode. We're finally going to see the next evolution. I do hope you all enjoy the episode, and if you do, a like would be greatly appreciated. And keep an eye out for lots of new content coming to the channel very soon. We got to sleep through the night, and then we got to explore and murderize. You know what happens? These were the elders when I skipped the generation, and they glitched out and didn't become skeletons. That's what happened. I skipped the generation and didn't lose any de so I'm freaking out for no apparent reason. That, although it is terrifying that they've, you know, become dead bodies rather than skeletons, but that's, that's exactly what happened. And we also need to get our freak on before we travel anywhere, because we need the babies! Time for some ultimate back scratchies. Oh yeah. Nothing like some monkey grunts in the morning. If Artie Monkey memory serves, we have to go way over that direction to get the Emerald of Destiny back. We're going to pass a couple of our old settlements, but there's like four or five spots within that area that we didn't explore, which should get us about uh, maybe 150, 200,000 years in our evolutionary leap, which might very well be enough to actually get the evolution. Uh, I'm not sure what we're evolving into next. I do believe um, it might be Lucy, or there's one just before Lucy. Uh, but regardless, it should be a pretty drastic change in our look, which is going to be nice. Oh, there's some more aloe there. I'll have to keep that in mind next time. Make sure nothing's around trying to eat our booty like groceries. Seems pretty good. I got attacked by a stupid saber tooth again, trying to snuck up on me. Having the face with a stick. It was great. Wonder if we can club a snake in one shot. Get him! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, slurp, you stupid green mamba prick! I actually need to work on dodging a lot more creatures. We need to fight a lot of crocodiles too. There's like at least a hundred thousand years worth of crocodile stuff that we actually haven't unlocked quite yet. But we need to sleep through the night. We're getting close to one of the areas that we need to discover. Let's see. We got two in the area right where we are, which is nice. We'll probably discover it and sleep there, but I'm gonna be lazy already today. You know, I think I actually hear the sound of a rare stone here somewhere. I think we're getting closer to it. Oh, 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 you wanna go, bro? You're back? Ah! Uh! Arty smash! I'm on the hunt. For my precious stones, I will eat you! Ah! You're lucky I only have the club of catastrophe on me, or else you'd be dead. Come here. Come here. Ah! How many hits is it gonna take to get to the center of this pussy cat so I can eat it? Get your ass back here. I didn't say you could leave yet. Who's your daddy? Artie is! Ah! This goes out to all the pussy cats out there. Leave me alone unless you want to get eaten. Find that, find that stone. Ah! Okay, I thought my my club of catastrophe was gone. 
Oh, we're definitely finding something. I wonder if it's the return of Blue Bay. <gasps> it is. I knew you were here, Blue Bay. <laughs> it's back. We're getting the trifecta, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is going to be all right. <laughs> we have the protect. We will have the protection of all three stones. It's going to be fantastic. If only I could get out of here without drowning in the water of doom. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate going in the water. It, like, drains so much stamina. It's atrocious. We just need to avoid it at all costs. I guess we got to bring this back to the settlement and then come back for the Emerald of Destiny. Well, this has to be the lamest landmark ever discovered. We brought Blue Bay back to the base and we kind of hung out for a day, rested up a little bit. We got another landmark here. Each of these gives anywhere between 24,000 and almost 50,000 years. So if we get a lot of these, it's going to really help us evolve. And I've kind of gone over this. So you, in this game, you really want to make sure you discover and do as much as humanly possible. A lot about this is about repetition. And that's one of the things that does help you evolve over a rather large amount of time. Is repetition in an environment or with doing something and uh, encodes it into your genetic memory. Now we gotta go over there and learn that one. Uh, but Emerald of Destiny is over, over there, I think. Or is it up there? I think it's up there, actually. We got quite a few spots here that we still need to discover. Wow. Oh no. It was calling to me again. The Tourmaline of Darkness. The Tourmaline? Tourmaline of Darkness? I'm gonna leave it there for now. Stupid Tourmaline of Darkness. Trying to lure me into the dark side once again. Nope. Don't listen to its whispers. Its sweet, sweet whispers. This is actually a nice oasis down here. <laughs> At least it's near something that's cool. Oh, we don't. Of course, we don't get a good view of it. The buried, the buried, the buried garden oasis. Words are hard, and the struggle is real. You know the savanna is gonna be evil when literally like every rock ledge you pass on your way to the savanna. As the Tourmaline of Darkness. Tourmaline of... I'm never going to say the word right. I need to hear it pronounced or something. I have no idea if I'm saying or butchering it absolutely completely. But there's another one here. This is like the fifth one I found like near the... Excuse me. Uh, Big Brain Artie can't Big Brain its way up this cliff. Uh, but regardless, we got a cat down here, which we need to murderize with the Club of Doom. Took a couple in-game days, but we finally made it back to the encampment where the Emerald of Destiny has been waiting for us to come. Wait a second. Where's the Emerald of Destiny? Who took the Emerald of Destiny? Did I put it somewhere safe and forget where I put it? Or did something steal it? Oh my god. I think it's gone. I don't know where it is. It's a tragedy. Please, Emerald of Destiny, don't have forsaken us. I don't know if that was a good sentence or not, but I have been searching around for another one because it's not at our camp anymore or that old settlement. But I'm hoping it hasn't forsaken us. At the top of this, whispering sweet nothings into our ear. <gasps> it is the Emerald of Destiny. It had not forsaken us. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Ooh, there's a meteor over there. Huh. Okay, so it doesn't alter that. No! No! I threw it! Oh, God! I'm just... I promise, Emerald of Destiny! I didn't mean it! Oh, my goodness. I will never throw you again, my precious. We've got the Emerald and the Tourmaline. Uh, and we're almost to the meteor, but we definitely have enough discoveries now to get to the next evolution. So I'm really excited about that. And I got to figure out where the last precious stone is. That way we can have all five. I don't know where I'm going to put the evil uh, tourmaline, the dark side. We can't keep it necessarily in camp, but we got to keep it close. And I do need a meteor, so I think I'm actually going to replace uh, the tourmaline because we can find this everywhere. I found it. So many times. I think I found six while I was looking for the emerald. So there is way more common than the emeralds. I gotta rest here a little bit. Uh, so we can definitely replace that with a meteorite and then just go find another tourmaline and uh, and then we'll bring that one to camp. 
this elder has had one hell of a journey. He's gone like halfway across the map and back. Completely survived. Didn't take any hits. Pimp slapped some people with some emeralds. It was great. So we gotta put the emerald over here. And I gotta go get the, the meteor. It's very important. Uh, but first I wanted to check our evolutionary stuff. So we've got Blue Bay, the Emerald of Destiny, and the Ruby of Salvation. And then over here we'll put the tourmaline. <laughs> the dark side. We don't talk about the dark side, but we do need some water. But I unlocked a lot of neurons while I was out. Okay, apparently. I know we need water for a fact. For some reason, it glitches and like won't let you accumulate water till after you drink sometimes. It's kind of frustrating. Unlocking so, unlocking so many neurons now that the things aren't glitched out. So we've got more... Okay, so better indigestion... In I... Wow. Indigestion of food. There we go. That's good. Symptoms following... Uh, ooh, mushrooms. Okay. I actually need to eat a lot more mushrooms. Like, surviving is now so much easier with this stuff here. Like, the protection against all the injuries and things lasts so much longer. You don't get food poisoning as easy. Like, things are really, really good right now. Of course, there would be a ton of hyenas around the meteor site. Hey, prick! I just need to grab the meteor before they come back, because I don't have the Club of Catastrophe with me. And at least if I have the meteor, I can pimp slap everybody with it, which is going to keep me safe. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Let's inspect it. Inspect it quickly. Quickly. Sniff it faster. You're gonna get eaten. Oh, my God. The Savannah Boulder Enclave Meteor Site. You want to go, bro? I haven't slapped you with a meteor before, have I? Ah. Uh. Oh. I was so close. Arnie ain't playing no games with you. Not today, hombre. Unfortunately, there's a few meteor sites that I've missed out on. Uh, because apparently when you evolve... Oh my goodness. Get him! Eat him! Stupid hyena. Going down. Just dragged its ass away, damn. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately I missed out on a couple of the meteor sites because I evolved after they dropped... Look at this guy. He got stabbed. I wonder I wonder who stabbed him. Go, oh, kitty cat. What's up, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a meteorite. Let's go. Whoa, hey, you want... Coming back for more. I can slap you all day. You want to go again? I'm like, Dah! Oh, you do want to go again. Ah! <laughs> Death by meteorite. And stand a chance, home skillet. We made it back, and we've gotten the majority of our precious stones here. I don't know why that font keeps popping up. Uh, excuse me, no, I wanted the meteorite. I know many of people have been asking to like try and alter these things together in maybe different combinations. I figured we'd give that a shot now. That's not gonna do anything. Nope. Oh my god. Where the hell did I throw it? I always do that. <laughs> Um, now let's try and alter the meteor with the ruby, maybe? Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, I don't think any of these can be altered, you know? I've been trying to figure it out, and it doesn't seem that they can be. It's just like a collectible. Maybe if we get all of them together, maybe something will happen. Anyways, it's time to evolve. I know you all want to see us evolve. Let's not, uh, let's not dilly-dally here any longer. Maybe we'll figure out what those things do at some point in the future. New ability learned. Food tolerance. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So, technically, I should... You know what? I should skip a generation first and then evolve. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. 18 births. One death. Sadly, one death. See how far we go this time. Uh, yes, we are ready. The ruby as a precious stone. Oh, nice. We got 34,000 years and 2,500 extra years on top of that. There's one more we got to find. I imagine it's probably in the ocean area, which we need to do an expedition for in the live stream today. Discover the door to the savannah as a memorable location. 
Havana Border Oasis, 34,000 years. Nice. Uh, excuse me? I found way more than that. I must have evolved. I think it stops you early if you evolve. But we had a lot of babies, so we're going to get those years back. 18 births. An extra 90,000 years. Continue. Yes! We are now Lucy! The Bay, the beautiful. Lucy. That's awesome. Very, very exciting. Now, I've heard there's actually one more uh, evolutionary jump after this into another species. We'll have to see if that is the case, because we are only at, like, just over 4 million years in. Let's see what the cutscene is for this particular one. Rest in peace, Club Artie. We're now Club Lucy. That's right. They've learned from the best. <laughs> Murdering everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. So, we should look a little bit different than we did before. Oh, you put us in elephant land? Why would you do this to me? I really hope. I just spent hours. Hours finding all those stones. And I just realized when I evolve, sometimes the stones disappear. I will be so mad if that's going to be the case. I think we were invisible there for a second. Oh, yeah, dude. We look so different now. Oh, wow. Significantly larger cheekbones. Larger forehead. <laughs> We ain't very pretty. We're not adorable anymore. Are the babies at least adorable? Uh, they're kind of cute. But yeah, look at the, the, the lack of hair on the babies. On the babies! Which is quite a bit different than they were before. So we just got to collect them all here. And uh, the boobsies are looking more like boobsies. Oh my god. <laughs> we shouldn't show those anymore. Oh, snap! Ah! Get out of here, snake! Oh, you're so lucky I don't have a stone on me. Where's my baby? I'm back, baby. Oh, man, we got stuff everywhere, dude. Why would they spawn me here? This is literally the worst. There's a... Did I leave a club here at some point? I must have. Okay, this is a very treacherous location. I can't believe it would do this to us. All right, so if we hold right trigger and we can control our motions... You can bring everything in a little bit closer. Yeah, look at the uh, look at the male apes now. We're definitely losing a lot of our fur. We're looking, we're looking good, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking pretty, majestic even. Ooh, very nice. Thermoregulation. The impacts of climate variations on the vitality are diminished. That's very good. We get a bigger brain. Uh, the brain size has increased. More neuron energy can be accumulated. Yes, we are a bigger brain ape. Life expectancy has increased. And, oh man. We can get so much dopamine now. We're gonna be some happy monkeys. That's a lot of stuff. Lower body strength, so jump distance is increased. Oh my goodness. Uh, more energy is gained per food portion. And, oh, elements used to eliminate food poisoning are more effective. Oh my god. Orientation again. Uh, okay. Prevention of broken bones. <laughs> Inflicting a lethal blow is increased. Determination must do Okay, we can slow down time. Less dopamine. Alright, that was huge. Thankfully, it looks like all of our precious stones are here. They're able to resettle back in our area. And uh, everything's looking good. I did want to show off a little bit better now that it's daylight. What our new evolution looks like. We got a... Okay, there's the non-elder, finally. We'll show it off here with our... Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of this stupid haze. Hopefully we still got our stockpile of stuff here. I need to get uh, a stone 
So that way, whoops. Drop that. We're looking pretty good now, man. Look at us. Looking all ape human-ish. Really? You're just gonna eat everything, huh? I hate that like seven things are tied to one button. Like you can either jump, eat, run, stand, grab. It's like, oh my god. We got all our stuff here. It's looking looking really good. Grab the Emerald of Destiny. And we'll go into the altar mode so we can get a nice up close look. We're definitely losing fur. I noticed on the Elder, if we... Can we stand up here? That we pretty much no longer have fur, like, on our ankles and stuff. Um, yeah, there you go. You can see that we're slowly losing fur, like, around the feet and up the body. And also the same thing with the hands. Like, our hands are losing all the fur going up to the, to the elbow. Lost hair around the chest and the face and stuff like that. We've got mutton chops. Oh, my God. Mutton chops. What are we doing with our lives? But, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we've got for today's episode. we got another evolution, and then we need to beat the game. So, we've got another species to go into. And then the next one that we do, I think, is going to be at the end of the game. So, we've got still quite a bit of stuff to do. we still got things to murder. We've still got to find the ocean, and I'm sure there's new things to explore over there. We probably still need to find some meteorites and stuff like that. But let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, like would be greatly appreciated. I will see you all in the next one.